It's Movie Time is produced by John DeSando. Listen to the shows and read reviews online at wcbe.org. I'm John DeSando. I'm Wayne Miller. This is It's Movie Time. It sure is. Wayne, let's stretch a little bit, okay? Yep. I mean, ordinarily, It's Movie Time takes a very a popular current movie, and we discuss it. Now, once in a while, however, we go across the pond to a country like France and decide that we want to actually feel good about our own families, so let's look at a dysfunctional family. Extremely dysfunctional. <laughs> what is the movie? Well, it, the movie is Happy End. Oh, that means it's a comedy. I forgot. Uh, hey, you're not going to find many laughs in this. <laughs> I found it neither happy nor, as I law slugged through it, <laughs> did not seem to be any end in sight. <laughs> This is, uh, the director is Michael Hankey, and he did Amor, Cash, and The White Ribbon, three very fine films within the last few years. Yes. Um, and he certainly is a gloomy guy. <laughs> Not just gloomy. Uh, we talked about editing here before, when uh, you cut from one shot to another shot. This guy, he just, he, you, you sit there, and you wait. You wait and for you a cut? Wait. And you wait for you know to move on to another shot, especially if there's nothing that's really that you could at least that you think you see going on. And there are a number of shots and scenes like that here, and that's why I found that rather laborious to say okay. the least. Okay, uh, and and I would agree with you. Uh, there are enough episodes in this that you put them together in a mosaic, and it may make some sense. Yes, but by themselves. They kind of languish, I, I agree. And there are a lot of long shots as opposed to closer ones, which distances us from mm -hmm. the family and, and the action. Yes, yes. Uh, but basically, this family is, uh, has, has wealth. It's a family of privilege. Yep. They have a construction company. Yes. Um, and so they're, they're dismissive of their servants and of migrants in, 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 in various ways in the film. Yes. Though it seems to me they're still distanced from them. Yeah. Very much so. I mean, this is a, a fa like you said, family of privilege. There's uh, a cantankerous old patriarch of the family. <laughs> Jean-Louis Trintignant. Yes, and, uh, <laughs> who's an excellent uh, a French actor who's oh, been yeah. on the scene. And I remember uh, seeing a movie that really blew me away back in the early 70s called The Conformist. Oh, my. That he was in. And, uh, Good. But, but uh, and then, uh, of course, uh, is, is George, George's, uh, George, uh, his first name, anyhow. The, uh, he's, right. George's, yes, Lorette. Yes, uh, the grandfather. <laughs> he's got a son and a daughter. And uh, the son is a surgeon. The yes. daughter runs the family Is it who pair? Yes. Oh, my, what a lovely lady, even probably pushing 60. Now. Oh, yeah. And cold as ice. And she's engaged to be married yes. to one of my favorite British yes. actors, Toby Jones. Yes, right. You know, and, and uh, which, to me, that was kind of a, uh, one of the two or two or three uh, uh, rays of sh sunshine in the movie. I, I like him. But let's not forget, he, he's got two grandchildren, or actually three. There's a baby, but... The, um, um, uh, Anne, the daughter, played yeah. by uh, Isabel, has a son, Pierre, who's extremely dysfunctional. But the winner for me, and this is a young actress that I hope to see uh, in years to come, who plays Eve. Yeah. Um, uh, Fantine uh, uh, Odine? Uh, Hard Hardine? Something Fra like Fantine Hardwin. And uh, she's probably, you'd say, about 12 years old. Well, she so. plays 13, almost 13 here. Yes. It's and I tell you, she is excellent. And you see a lot of the movie through not just her eyes, but her smartphone as she videos a lot well, of stuff and texts. Yes. And this is like one of those things, oh my God, I'm trying to read uh, 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 text messages in French with English subtitles. <laughs> yeah. And it went on and but on. Hanky, the director, loves technology. <laughs> yes. It's cash. Uh, was filled with it. And here, it even opens up with a screenshot from a smartphone yeah. of somebody in the bathroom with commentary. A woman in the bathroom probably was the young uh, Eve. Probably was Eve. 
Uh, and it's probably or, her mom. Uh, her mom. Yeah. Her yeah. mom who winds up in a right. coma because of a drug And overdose. that together with the uh, uh, the text messaging that you're talking yes. about, the instant messaging uh, where the uh, the father, Thomas, is having an affair with yes. someone and they're explicitly yes. talking about it and the young girl yeah. hears it. It's filled with the reality, for me, the reality of technology. That mm -hmm. for all that these people try to hide, there's some realities, such as what we see on the smartphone or in the texting. This is real, yep. you know, and they can't hide this. And, and the way they hide from their servants or from the migrants or they try to distance themselves. Or distance themselves from each other. Oh, from each other, oh without question, right? And what I love is there's a, there's a recurrent motif of death in here. Yes. I mean, you know, either... grandpa, wants, <laughs> grandpa wants to end it all. I know. So this, it's either suicide and little Eve. Yes. Is participating, yes. giving the the the, the dark <laughs> feeling that all of this stuff is passing down from generation yes. to generation. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it makes you want, especially when you see how dysfunctional Pierre is. Oh. And probably uh, one of the scenes I liked, if I liked any of them, uh, was near the end when they were having a luncheon. I think about her, uh, oh. uh, uh, Anne's impending wedding, and uh, and. The son, uh, her son Pierre brings about five or six. It looked like a Moroccan or yes, I'd uh, say um, uh, uh, Africans to the lunch. Yes, but what's funny, they uh, and of course all of the guests are just really uh, on edge. And, yeah, and uh, you could you know you could. I think cut, it's an engagement party. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. Cut the uh, cut the tension with the knife. Yeah. But they set up a table for these guys. Yeah, eventually. It's, there's a benign after she's, neglect. After she's, after she's mutilated, after Huppert has mutilated her son, yes. uh, that kind of tempered things down. It, it is, yeah. And, and uh, uh, what was I thinking? God, I got to forget. Anyway, oh, yes. For the, the off-balance son, yes. for his off-balance son who brought the migrants, there's also a karaoke episode that is unbelievable. Well, it's just uh, uh, it, it's just plopped right in the middle I of know, the movie, I know. and I'm like, "What in <laughs> my wife?" I think he's expiating his sin, <laughs> clarifying his soul. Well, it, <laughs> he's the worst he's karaoke. Oh my god! Well, that, but also uh, he could have been probably a good gymnast. You know, how he's doing these handstands and uh, jumping all it looks, around. It looks like he's about ready to kill himself, though. <laughs> yes. But this begs the question, though, John, because uh, uh, Hanky, the uh, director, is... And writer. Uh, and writer, but also, I think he's like in his late 70s or something like that. He's a, uh, He's been all, all on the okay. scene for yeah. quite a while. And this really, to me, what I really got thinking about... Uh, since I, I'll just be flat out with it, I really didn't enjoy the movie. Right. But there's a lot of uh, uh, artistic works, you know, uh, paintings or sculptures or uh, abstract art or um, uh, rap music or something that people say, I can get a lot of artistic value from this. Right. So I had to sit back and think, okay, what's the, that fine line between pretension and uh, an art, uh, a valid artistic expression, yes. and and it, that's what I. So I had to kind of sit back and think. Okay, this guy had something he wanted to tell. He's known for works like this. Yes, you know he probably doesn't yes. care what uh, if uh, the audience has a feel good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he good sure, he sure doesn't. About it. No, he doesn't care. And so I really had to stop and think about uh, the, whole, the artistry. You know, I think that's an important point. This is, it requires a lot of heavy thinking on the part yes. of the audience. So Wayne Miller, the film is Happy End. Happy what, End. What grade would you award well, it? Well, you know, uh, my pure enjoyment of the movie, I'd give it a D. A D is in dog. But because of the artistic uh, expression that he, that... And, and I tell you, it's one of those things that I thought, oh, I really, I did not like this, but it made me think. Yes. And so for that, I'm going to give it a C plus. All right, good. Yeah. And because uh, uh, it, it, it tended to, to make me think as well, and because I just love lampooning 
the privileged bourgeoisie, as he does here, I'm going to award it an A minus. Yes, and, yes. and that's it's movie time. Yeah, oh. I, I, I hope you have a very happy end. Yeah. <laughs>